In Alabama tonight, Decision Desk is projecting Katie Britt, a 40-year-old Capitol Hill aide, has defeated six-term Congressman Mo Brooks in the state's GOP Senate runoff. That race grabbed national attention when Donald Trump first endorsed Brooks, who goes by the nickname MAGA Mo, only to withdraw that support later. Donald Trump now backs Britt, who calls herself an America First warrior. All that said, Donald Trump's next test may not be to help others win races. It actually could be his own. Many are urging Florida Governor Ron DeSantis to make a run in 2024, turning DeSantis, a one-time Trump friend, into a foe. According to an article in The New Yorker magazine this week, an unnamed political consultant says Trump world is working overtime to find ways to burn DeSantis down. They really hate him. DeSantis beat Trump in a straw poll earlier this month in Colorado, seven in 10, saying, they support DeSantis, but overall, early polls favor Donald Trump. A Politico poll taken the same week put Trump way ahead, 51 to 18 percent. News Nation political editor Chris Steyerwalt joining us tonight. So, Chris, Trump says he can win in a showdown with DeSantis. Should he be worried? Well, look, you know, the, uh, the thing that Trump has to remember is that it's not 2016. In 2016, he was the insurgent. He was the he was the, the radically different thing. Uh, and candidates like Jeb Bush, Marco Rubio, uh, Ted Cruz, others had baggage. They had positions. They had staffs. They had an organization. Trump was basically a free agent. This time, it's going to be different. Uh, and Trump is a little bit more of a fixed target. Uh, for the other candidates. And it won't just be DeSantis, of course. And what other Republicans who hope to win the nomination certainly will be rooting for is a grueling war between Trump and DeSantis, and that the two of them wear each other out, uh, much in the way that Jeb Bush and Marco Rubio wore each other out in 2016 that paved the way through for Trump. So how ugly could this get? Well, I mean, look, the, the thing for Trump is the the worst thing that you can be and you mentioned with mo brooks tonight uh for trump he is uh, he is uh prone to serious petty personal grievance and if he feels that he has been slighted but let's make it simple donald trump believes that the only reason ron DeSantis is the governor of florida is because he made it that way and that that was the reason that DeSantis is the governor of florida therefore for trump uh you know loyalty is a one way one way street with the former president for trump uh, this is the worst kind of offense to have somebody who is going to, to confront you and take you on later. So it will get personal. It will get ugly. It will get bad. Uh, but that could be good for candidates who are not named Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis who are hoping to get through because it's going to be a crowded field. And every lane, uh, every part of the spectrum inside the Republican Party will have multiple claimants. Right. Uh, so what does DeSantis has to have working in his favor right now? And then I'm going to ask you about his Achilles heel, too. Well, DeSantis's great strength came through coronavirus. Uh, he staked out a position in opposition to the Biden administration. Uh, and in opposition to federal health authorities and opening Florida and putting Florida back online. This made him popular with a lot of Floridians, but it also identified him with national Republicans as, hey, this is a guy who is hot on our issue and keyed in. Uh, he's continued that now with a lot of this culture war stuff, canceling the money for the uh, Tampa Bay Rays because they tweeted about gun control and fighting with Disney over uh, sex education. All of that stuff points to he wants to be the, the sort of the social issue warrior in the Republican field and engage with those voters. And his Achilles heel, what will, um, what will give him the biggest challenge? He's kind of a cold fish. Uh, he has a problem as a retail politician. He's a very smart person uh, and very well educated and very, very all of that. But he does not have that warm and human touch that you really need. We make people who want to be president spend time uh, hanging out with a butter cow uh, at the Iowa State Fair uh, and talking to roomfuls of you know 50 people in a New Hampshire uh, diner. 
that's not Ron DeSantis' strong suit, and there's just not a way that you can raise enough money to blow through that stuff. You've got to be good at retail politics, and that is not something that he has shown a capacity mm. for. The likeness in ice. All right, Chris Steyerwalt, uh, News Nation's political <laughs> editor. Appreciate your time tonight. Good to see you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.